A Wall Street Journal poll, poll of 600 likely GOP primary voters shows the former president at 48 percent. DeSantis, 24 percent. Republicans kept Trump at arm's length in 2016, but not now. I'll be asking everybody to support President Trump. And Ron DeSantis hasn't declared he's running for president yet. I think he's a great governor of Florida. So if I were Florida, I would give DeSantis a third term and everybody get behind President Trump. Former President Trump secured the endorsements of 59 House and Senate members, 10 from Florida. Only one member from Florida supported DeSantis, freshman Laurel Lee. DeSantis spoke in suburban Washington today. If the Democrats are able to sweep all the offices, President, Senate, and House, what will they do uh, with that power? They will try to pack the U.S. Supreme Court. They will try to abolish the Electoral College. They will try to make Washington, D.C. a state so they get two left-wing senators virtually for life. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell will support the GOP nominee, but he feuds with Trump. After Trump's indictment, reporters tried to get a response from McConnell. The leader had been absent for weeks after a concussion. I mean, let me put it this way. I may have hit my head, but I didn't hit it that hard. Good try. <laughs> Mr. Trump met with Florida GOP members who endorsed him at Mar-a-Lago last night. Trump appears obsessed with racking up endorsements on the home turf of Ron DeSantis. Trump claimed Florida has become among the worst states to live, find economic opportunity, work, retire, raise a family, pay taxes, be safe, rent a home, have a baby, afford energy, die, be a teacher, be a doctor, or be a police officer. Additionally, Trump claimed that Florida is not a good place for millennials, working dads, or working moms.